afternoon, everyone. I'm Dan Cummings. We continue our breaking news coverage this afternoon. A 51-year-old man, now identified as Jorge Jimenez of Syracuse, was struck and killed along Interstate 690 eastbound last night near Thompson Road. The car that struck him was driven by SU men's basketball coach Jim Beheim. We have team coverage for you this afternoon. Jeff Kulikowski is live inside the Carrier Dome with a reaction from the university. But we start with Andrew Donovan, who's live outside Syracuse Police Headquarters right now. Andrew, you've been in touch with sources close to this investigation. What are they telling you at this hour about what happened late last night? Well, Dan, Syracuse police detectives are inside headquarters right now gathering facts, interviewing people connected to the crash. But the district attorney tells me flat out right now this crash appears to be an accident at this point in the investigation. No tickets have been issued. Coach Jim Beheim was traveling east on I-690 last night near Thompson Road when his vehicle hit Jimenez, according to Syracuse police. Jimenez and the people he was with were out of their own car, which was disabled in the middle of the highway having just moments earlier crashed into a guardrail on the icy road. That's when Bayheim drove by. Police say he tried to avoid the disabled car, but hit and killed Jimenez. Authorities say Bayheim, who was only a few hours beyond his game at the Dome, is cooperating with the investigation. He stayed at the scene of the crash and then went to police headquarters last night. No alcohol or drugs were detected in his body. We're told the police chief and district attorney will have some sort of comment later today, but right now to continue our coverage, News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski is live inside the Carrier Dome. Jeff, the police are investigating, but I know the university is having to deal with what appears to be an accident involving one of the highest profile people in central New York. Certainly, Andrew, and maybe you can make that argument for all of New York State because we've heard from a lot of people of uh, our, our affiliates around that are interested in this as well. And I can tell you, and I'm going to have to, uh, you'll have to excuse me a minute as I read part of this. Literally just moments ago, we got a statement from Coach Beheim, and it says, I am heartbroken that a member of our community died as a result of last night's accident. Julie and I extend our deepest sympathies to the Jimenez family. Out of respect for those involved, I will not be providing further comment at this time. Now, earlier on, about an hour ago, we also got a statement from uh, Syracuse University Athletic Director John Wildhack expressing his sadness for the loss of the member of our community here. And in part, it reads, uh, we extend our deepest condolences to all impacted by this tragic accident. And John Wildhack's statement also goes on to say that out of respect for those, all those involved in this tragedy, there will be no further comment from Syracuse University at this time. Now, I can tell you that Stephen Fonte was going to the Mellow Center earlier this morning to do his regularly scheduled interview with assistant coach Jerry McNamara for Orange Nation that they would use. And when they got to the Mellow Center, Steve and his crew, they were told that interview had been canceled and that they were polite asked to leave but I can tell you they say that it was very quiet and e eerily dark there at the Mellow Center as you can understand uh, during a circumstance like this but I also have to tell you that despite the tragedy that's going on to some degree there's this odd feeling inside the Carrier Dome here uh, the Pitt women just finished practicing for their game tonight uh, against the SU women uh, there's still setup going on for the men's game against Duke here on Saturday uh, for ESPN game day and obviously the big ESPN broadcast so as tragic as it is some things here at the Carrier Dome still going on. Still working to confirm, but as I know right now, the game is still scheduled for Saturday at 6 o'clock here inside the Carrier Dome. Of course, Dan, if we learn something different, we will certainly bring it to you. Live at the Carrier Dome, Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. All right, Jeff, thank you so much. So sad. Again, if you're just joining us, we'll recap the details. A 51-year-old man identified as Jorge Jimenez of Syracuse was struck and killed late last night along Interstate 690 eastbound near Thompson Road. The car that struck him was driven by SU basketball coach Jim Beheim. Jimenez was a passenger in a vehicle that was just involved in an unrelated crash near the Thompson Road exit. According to police, Beheim passing by the crash was unable to avoid the crash and struck Jimenez, who was walking near the vehicle. Beheim was cooperating with investigators and did not test positive for drugs or alcohol. No tickets have been issued, no charges have been filed, and we're told at this time it appears to be a tragic accident. Stay with News Channel 9 and localsyr.com for developments throughout the afternoon.